Hi, this is Zahna. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn Boolean and character data types in C Sharp. Let's start with Boolean data type. Before telling you about the Boolean data type, I would like to tell you what is Boolean data. It's a form of data that can have only two possible values, either true or false. In C Sharp, we use the bool keyword to represent the Boolean data. I will tell you few of the features of Boolean data type. If you are following my videos, by this time you know that each data type has got corresponding .NET type. The same way, .NET type for bool data type is system.boolean. Don't get confused. System is the namespace name and boolean is the structure inside that namespace. Default value for bool is false. If you declare a variable with bool data type, and you don't assign any value, then the compiler will assign the false value to that particular data type. Size of bool data type is one byte. When you declare a variable with bool data type, compiler will assign one byte of memory. Before diving into the practical examples, let's understand char data type and its usages. What is character data? Character data could be anything ranging from alphabets, special characters, emojis and so on. In short, it could be anything that we perceive as a single display element. You should remember few things while using this data type. You should use the char keyword to represent the character data. Then size of char data type is 16 bits which is equivalent to 2 bytes. Then corresponding .NET type for char is system.char. Here system is the namespace name and char is the structure name. And range of char type is specified in UTF-16 codes. Then you might be wondering what are these UTF-16 codes? I will tell you what are they. What is UTF-16? UTF-16 is one of the character encoding systems used by .NET. Character encoding is a system that assigns some code to each character and computer refers to this system to assign the binary numbers to the characters. Open the Visual Studio and create new console application. If you want to know more about console application like what it is, how to use it and much more, I have a dedicated video on that. You can find the link in the description box. You can have a look. Now I'll show you how to declare variables with bool and char data type. Syntax for declaration is data type then the variable name. Here I have declared two variables. One is with the bool data type and the other one is with the char data type. Here you can see them. Next, I'll show you the members of bool and char structures. Here are the steps to see the metadata file. There are two ways you can see the metadata file. One is right click on the keyword and say go to definition or else you can press the F12 key on your keyboard. This will take you to the metadata file. Here you can check all the supported members for a particular data type. These are the supported members. Now I'll show you how to use these members in our program. In the first example, I will verify the values that are stored in to string and false string. Here we use the zero as the placeholder data type name that is bool and to string. Let's end with semicolon. I'll copy the statement and now I'll test it for false string. So this is false string. Let's save the changes and run it. The output shows value for true string is true and value for false string is false. This is because true string and false string, they store the string representation of the Boolean, Boolean values that are true and false. In our next example, we shall take the member from the char data type. Here is the metadata file for char. If you scroll through the page, you can find that char structure has got long list of members. I'll pick out the method isNumber. If you see the highlighted line of code, 
is number is a method that takes a character and returns the boolean value what i will do i'll assign some value to this variable i'll assign the character value c then i'll declare the bool variable result and what i will do i will pass this char variable to is number method how will i call that method i'll say char dot is number then if you just hover over this method it takes character c okay what i will do i'll pass this variable and is number method will evaluate the input and it will store the boolean output in our result variable we will okay we shall use the right line method and print the result i'll say is it a number then i will use the placeholder and i will pass the result variable i will save the changes here is the output is it a number the output is false because the input that we have given is a character now what shall we do we will modify the input and i will say 3 3 is a number i will save the changes and run it again this time the output is true because we have passed the number which is 3 i have shown you very basic examples intentionally i have kept the examples simple because i want you to understand the concepts before trying out any complex example if you want to build your logic and want different programs to practice i have a playlist by name c sharp logic building programs you can visit there and just pick and learn any of the programs with this i conclude the video and see you in my next video Thanks for watching and thanks for your time and see you in my next video